Since the 2010s, Iran's defensive and offensive capabilities have both developed considerably. While the Stuxnet cyberattack launched against the Natan's nuclear power plant has significantly impaired the Iranian nuclear program, it has also enabled the Ajayim to progress in the cyber domain. The Iranian regime learned a lesson from this attack, allowing it to invest and develop significant defensive and offensive cyber capabilities. The cyber operations carried out by the Iranian regime come mainly from the country's two major security forces, IRGC and MOI. The Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps is divided into two parts. The Cyber Defense Command, in charge of cyber protection of Iranian infrastructure, and the IRGC Intelligence Organization, responsible for intelligence operations, including cyber. On its side, the Ministry of Intelligence collects signals and information intelligence. These two well-known security and intelligence services are constantly active in offensive cyber operations against foreign infrastructures in the Middle East, Europe, and the United States. Over the past 10 years, the Iranian regime has conducted multiple cyber operations targeting foreign governments, companies, and financial and educational institutions. The regime has massively invested in technology and trained several cyber fighters. Apart from developing its national cyber capabilities, Iran has made the strategic choice also to develop the cyber capabilities of its allies, especially Hezbollah, to which it provides significant financial, technological, and human resources. A few months ago, in January 2023, the commander of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, Major General Hossein Salami, expressed his willingness to cooperate in cyber, intelligence, and electronic warfare with Syria. Moreover, Iran does not limit its cyber cooperation to countries or organizations in the Middle East, but also seeks support from great powers such as Russia. In 2021, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and his Iranian counterpart, Javad Zarif, signed a cooperation agreement on cybersecurity, information, and communication technologies. The Kremlin now provides powerful surveillance software to Tehran. In addition, there is a strong possibility that beyond the means of surveillance, Russia unofficially provides Iran with other cyber offensive means like advanced malware and zero-day exploits. In addition to its rapprochement with Russia in 2021, Iran is also getting closer to China, particularly in establishing technological corporations. According to reports, Chinese telecommunications companies supported Iran by providing technical equipment to help the regime spy on the Iranian population. As the United States pledges to deploy its cyber combat teams to assist partner nations in the event of cyber incidents and to neutralize adversary infrastructure and operations. It appears that the nation's principal cyber adversaries and their allies are strengthening their ties to counter U.S. efforts to coerce them. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to watch this video to discover the impressive maritime power of the Islamic Republic of Iran in the Persian Gulf and the Strait of Hormuz region.